Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, we're outside Goku's is. house. Let's That's do this. Goku's house. That's Goku's house. Oh shit! Look, hold on. Can we look at this first, real quick? Fish bush there. I can do this off camera. But okay, we do. He does have a thing to learn there. It's in Goku's house. Yes. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi Chi. Pleased to meet you. What? Why did you say so weirdly, You're Trunks? Right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh yeah, you're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place. You mean place the one who beat fast. the androids? What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku. Oh no, that's not good. All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Here we go. Power it up. Oh, never mind. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. I like Seventeen. I think he's a cool character. I mean, I suppose that's why they kept him around, right? I suppose that's, you know. So why, is there a movie with him in it? Is it like Super 18 or whatever? Because people liked him. People thought his scarf was uh, pretty cool. We're flying. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. <laughs> I don't know what's hey, with this. Krillin. This ship is this inside of this yeah. ship is kind of like weirdly rendered to me. We I don't know why. Let Bulma in on everything that's it just looks all odd. You think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean? I have to call her. Oh man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Shouldn't Chi Chi be like, uh, wait a minute, what the fuck? Can we, can we have a conversation about that, please? Can I have some clarification? Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin, you're all right? Why didn't you tell oh. me before? Is my son, oh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. Uh-huh. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. 
It's covered in moss, and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Why would he know? Wait, this is... I mean, he does. But... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. I bet he's fucking ecstatic about that. Trucks is like, oh, yes. Don't worry, like, Mom. Go on, my friend. <laughs> We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Don't worry, Mom. I'm sure there's no blood-sucking monster who wants to drain me of all my energy and leave me as a husk of clothing on the side. Don't worry. You're just being paranoid. What the fuck is yeah. with that tree? You see? You see that tree? I was wondering. It's like a weird is, fake tree. Is the future really all that bad? It is. Oh, it's fine. Humanity has been reduced to only tens of thousands of people. <laughs> Bangers. Of course, there's some stuff down here too. Hey, it was worth coming over here, huh? Some high quality carrots and shit. I'm extremely grateful for this find. A sturdy bolt S. Is that what we need to make our car? Was it a sturdy bolt S? Or was it something else? I think it might be something else. I'm not sure how we can get there. So that's all the materials. Keep worthy of force. Thanks, King Kai. Thanks, King Kai. He's now talking to future trunks. Uh, okay. Oh, it's down near West City. Oh, so it's actually not that, that far. I always thought it was like really far. Like really, like really far out in the sticks. But I guess not. It's actually just like right next to West City. Find it near Ginger Town. Oh, that's right. We saw it's Ginger Town earlier, didn't we? It's strange to see it like this. Oh yeah, I suppose his his West City is all fucked up, huh? Oh, look, Ginger Town. Here it is. Let's let's this go check on Ginger Town. Wow, that's right. They look like they're floating above the ground, don't they? It's a bit weird. Man, look at Ginger Town. It's beautiful. It's all fixed. Everyone's okay. Everyone's happy. No blood sucking monsters. No one's being. No one's eating anybody yet. That's that's good stuff. I can't believe I was lucky enough to find this. It'd be really funny if, like, behind a bush or something, there was like a cell. Just like a like a creeping cell that you should you talk I'm to. Extremely be like, grateful Hi. for this find. I'm Cell. How are you? And then he just goes about his day. <laughs> it should be in this area. Let's start looking. Uh, I'm looking. That's it over there, isn't I found it. it. Uh, I, I flew right past that's it though. Time machine, all right. Oh yo. Yeah. Some stuff. Yo, a D metal. A whole bunch of rice. That must be really old rice. So where the fuck was it? Oh, here it is. 
Oh, look, it's it's lovely. Oh, hold on, Bubba. There's a D metal over here. Let me just grab this, okay? All right, Bub. What are we doing? Hi, Bulma. Hey, you're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Oh, it's there. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? It's a durian. Ew, what is it? I... I'm not sure. It's Dodoria's butt cheeks. What's it doing in the time machine? <laughs> this is some sort of egg, isn't it? <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> I got myself What's a little bit alone. It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I oh. looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The pan... Uh, uh, Oops. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. So that thing's been there for four years? And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible. This thing... Uh, uh, wait. What's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. Sort of exoskeleton. It's a big cricket. Gross. Or this kind of looks like a. Kind of looks like a cicada. Sort of I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. Never explained why he's in an egg. You guys are going to be at Kamehameha. Because Cell does it, right? doesn't he? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? So confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Double A, A. Yo. That's good. We need buddy. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton, just as Kami had feared. A town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. 
bio-android fiend from the future. But we're jumping a little bit, we're like, we're, we're, we're skipping, skipping along. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. Oh, oh yeah, let's collect all these things. Tommy, if we don't do something about that monster, the earth is finished. What's up, Kami? Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. Wait. That dialogue box to the subtitle is wrong. <laughs> that I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo, were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion. The resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? What, what do, do you mean? mean? Wait, is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. What? I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation? What the fuck are you talking about? Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. All right. As we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon, the Dragon Balls, Balls are an issue. issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. Mr. Popo, hold my stick. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. No. Well, Kami, please don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Is that true? Does he know there is a name? Right. I'm off. Ah, uh, he's friends with Popo now.
Turbo Plus. That doesn't... Transformations of it. Oh, really? Ginger Town, huh? It's a transformation? <laughs> hey, look, we still got the Dragon Balls. That's good. Ugh. Wasn't that wasn't that many episodes ago that I was praising I was praising this game for not making Nail a transformation because that's weird. And now the fuse with Kami is a transformation. It's weird, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Like, I get in fighting games, you just want people to have transformations, because it's like half the game. But... It, it doesn't need to be in this here. It could just be a massive people. power boost. Who or what could it possibly uh, oh, there's a cyclist down here. Seems like a perfectly nice planet. Oh, not these fuckers again. With my other half. But the same... Not these fuckheads. Hmm. No, no, what could Let's it be? See. It's I'm quite famished. Hey. What are uh -huh. you two doing here? Oh, uh, look, it's straight to the point. Oh, look, I'll cut straight to the point. Wrong person. Uh, if you know what's good for you, you'll leave wow. this place. Would you happen to be an Earthling? Yep. Oh, my! The people are here are green as well. Do mm. do your is not work or something. I told you to get the hell out of here. We've just arrived on this planet. <laughs> They're not exactly the listening type, are they? Just who the hell are you two anyway? <laughs> tourists. Feel free to raise tourists. <laughs> oh, we come here for a taste of some of these planet's yep. delicacies. We're lucky we happened to meet you. Uh, would you be willing to show us hmm. around? Not a chance. There's a monster in this area. I've been hunted down and exterminated. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, that's it. You, that's what you come here for. Yes. What? That's right. We left to die on that monster. You want to eat it? Oh, wow. oh don't you earthlings eat it? <laughs> what a waste. Surprisingly delicious. It, it oh, is? My. Ah, this must be quite embarrassing. Uh, to live on this planet Earth and not know how, how delicious taste of dinosaurus. Yes. Dinosaurus? Is the monster you're after? A dinosaurus? Yeah. A monster that can only be found here on Earth? What the fuck are you talking about? The rarest dinosaurs in existence? Uh, we hear that the tail meat is simply to die for. Hmm. Hmm. A dinosaur, huh? Looks like you two are completely different monsters. Well, you're going to save your little sightseeing trip for another time. It's too dangerous here. Oh, that's a real shame. Uh, I guess I'll be going to look for the dinosaurs on our own then. Come again. <laughs> We've traveled a great deal to come here to Earth. Uh, we simply must eat that monster. <laughs> you need to worry, Earthling. You may fear the beast, but we are, not, we are seasoned travelers. We can handle it. Do you reckon they're like actually, actually secretly like super strong? <laughs> Idiots. If I do something, these clowns are gonna get themselves killed. Okay. Sure, let's do it. Why not? Close encounters is a troublesome kind. Give me a break. Damn it. I'd better uh. help them. Huh? What's what's hey. that now? I'm saying I'll find the dinosaur hey. meat for you. Oh my, will you? <laughs> Earthlings are friendly folk. Uh, just just stay here wait till I get back. <laughs> Got it. Oh, don't yeah. worry, we'll wait. Uh, according to our radar, you should you our radar, our radar. You should find the dinosaurs a little southeast of here. Oh, it's it's a wild animal, so it probably won't stay in one place. All right, got it. Probably Central Plains, so that's what near with Fort Android 1920. Are you gonna make me fucking warp? Hmm. Fucking Aren't for real? Many people left in or around Gingertown. Damn that monster. Uh, 
Do I really want to fuck it? Fucking. Ah. 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 All right, fine. Let's go fucking kill a dinosaur. Even though I just saved the dinosaurs from being poached, let's go kill a dinosaur for a, a bit of meat so that these tourists, these rich tourists, can eat some of it. Let's let's kill this beautiful creature for them. Fucking assholes, man. All right, where's the dino? Dino boyo. Oh, I see. It's like right here. Oh shit! Is this it here? This sparkly boy? What the fuck is this guy? Looks like the near guy got <laughs> got too close to him and turned him into a, a weird data dinosaur. Oh my lord! Someone wants to die. Well, they can't do shit, can it? Not this freak sooner. Could have done something. Oh, it hit me. What the fuck? How did it hit me? I hit me again. <laughs> I've been too high for it this entire time. You got those will tell me. But we didn't kill it. We just knocked it out, apparently. That's nice. We, we just knocked it out and took a slice of its tail. Is that more fucked up or less? I don't know. It's going to have issue walking without its tail. Its balance will be off. There you are, you two. You're proving to be a real pain, you know that? <laughs> come down. Come come now. Now. Uh, it's not good for your health to be so angry. Shut Deep up. Break. I free the horse soldier. It's one thing after another, isn't what? it? You say freeze the force? How do you know I'm part of the <laughs> force? Look, I've got enough pains in the ass to deal with, so I'm just going to blow you away. <laughs> Wow, we really did blow him away. Holy shit. <sighs> You'll be on weak. Even for a Freezer Force soldier. Why did you even what, join? What? what? Wait, I'm not a Freezer Force so soldier anymore. Is this the guy who... Is this the chef guy? What? What? <laughs> yeah, I've given up that life. I do what I really love. Be a galactic travel guide. His name's Malone. Nice to meet you. Galactic travel guide? What is he, freezer force? Oh. Also the freezer force uniform. Oh, <laughs> well it's got its perks. For starters, people usually leave me alone when they see me wearing it. Honestly, you honestly think I'm buy buying this crap? <laughs> oh, he's telling the truth, yes. Mervling. Mr. Malone is our personal yeah. travel guide. See what I tell you? Just giving them a hard time earlier for wandering <laughs> off. How did you get roped into this mess with you clowns? But yeah, if it weren't for those two, I would have been blown a bit so damage exploded. We returned to base after that, but since Lord Freezer was done in, I had no job to go back to. Yeah, I was always more of a foodie than a fighter anyway. Yeah, he, what, he is the, the chef guy. So I decided to introduce travelers to my amazing dishes of the universe. Okay, hmm. I see. Uh, hey, you're in the Mickey, aren't you? What? Why are you on Earth? Relax, relax. You're on Earth. I just happen to be in the Mickey that lives here. Huh? It's kind of confusing, but whatever. Uh, wait, you brought back some dinosaur meat earlier, right? The uh, yeah, the couple asked me to get it. They took they took it right out of my hands. That's what I thought. I've been dying to sneak sink my teeth into some of that stuff. Uh, I figured I'd snag a taste of myself. While showing the tourists around. 
Yeah, it's the juiciest, most succulent meat you've ever heard. Yeah, well, we're fresh out. Fresh out of luck there. Uh, really hit the spot. The mouth watering as we had. Had. I didn't think we'd end up eating it all in one sitting. What? What? Did you already yeah. ate it all? Uh, yes, it was fantastic. Did you eat it raw? Uh, of course. Cooking removes some of the meat's natural flavor. What? Wow. You guys are unbelievable. I wanted to try some of it. So, Mr. Malone, are you going for an next delicacy on your culinary Let's cruise? See. I would love to try something sweet next. <sighs> Can't help it, can I? Being a guy looks yep. like a real pain. Off to the next planet! This is so exciting, dear. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could stop by Planet Yodrad and try their sweet potatoes. Wow. Oh, potatoes, how lovely. <laughs> Thank goodness we hired an expert like you. We go to Yodrad now. Yeah, alright. Thanks for the Paronga plush. Must have got that oh, while you were yeah. on Namek, huh? In the gift shop. I get a feeling they caused you a lot of trouble. Here, we can have this. The ultimate fruit juice. Bye. You should Whoa. be off now. Hold your horses, guys. Don't dare leave without me. I'm sorry <laughs> to do. I can't wait. I'm entirely sure what's going on, but looks like they sell things at least. At least I hope it does. Yeah, me too. Jeez. All right, we did it. We hunted a dinosaur. We chopped his tail off, even though it was extremely rare and valuable. Uh, we fed it to the people. They're going to fuck off the planet now and hopefully not die, even though if they did, I would be super upset. And next time, we're going to investigate Ginger Town. It looks all kinds of fucked up. Boba, shut up. This is important. We're, de we're dealing with Ginger Town right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next, next, next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>